Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some jelly beans. These are Brock's jelly beans. They were $3.50 each at Walgreens. I have the chocolate mix. And I have the late night taco truck jelly beans. So the chocolate mix, we're gonna try these first because the taco truck has their taco flavors. And so I figure we better try the sweet first. Yeah. These, um, uh, the taco truck actually tells you how many jelly beans you get for how many calories. These you have to weigh, so we're actually going to weigh them for you. It's probably because the coating of the chocolate's not probably exactly Exactly, inside. exactly. Uh, a blend of cherry, raspberry, and strawberry jelly beans dipped in chocolate. So we're going to get three flavors in here. Real milk chocolate, uh, seven servings in the container, one-sixth of a cup or 30 grams is 120 calories. I'm trying so to think about it. We're had chocolate-covered jelly beans. So we're looking for 30 grams. Well, we've had chocolate covered uh, like gummy bears and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, just don't know if I'm so jelly beans. So you, um, some are covered, some are, no. I'm gonna, yeah, okay. I didn't expect that. No, I thought they were all gonna be covered. I thought they were all gonna have chocolate coating. It's odd. That's 30. Hmm. Okay, so read that description again. Can I bet you it says one of them is covered in chocolate? A blend of cherry, raspberry, and strawberry jelly beans dipped in chocolate. Huh. So maybe you get a cherry one here and there dipped in chocolate. Maybe you get a strawberry one here and there. That's weird. But you don't know which one you're gonna get. Yeah, you don't get. know which one. Okay, I see dark red. So that's that's the serving though. That is yeah, 120, so but it's only 120 calories. Yeah, so what do you handful. expect for 120 yeah. calories? You gotta dump more in there so I can make sure we get the right colors. You do get quite a few chocolate colored ones. There's mostly these dark, dark and light red ones. See, these are two that's different colors of red. Speckled. Yeah, and then you got the speckled one. Those. Uh -huh. I wonder what the speckled one is. Let's try. Which this one, one is that one? This one. The yep, lighter one. Yeah. Hmm. Very soft. Mm -hmm. Good cherry. Like a cough drop. <laughs> it tastes like a cough drop without the cough drop medicine-y kind of Have I ever told you, as a kid, do you remember Luden's cough mm -hmm. drops? Mm -hmm. Cherry cough drops. I would, my parents would give me money. I would actually go and buy Luden's cough drops. Just eat them as candy? To eat them as candy. Probably not the best thing for you. <laughs> Yeah, and well, they didn't care. <laughs> no, I wonder if there's probably something harmful in there. Um, they had a brown box and they had the cherry ones, and I just always felt really grown up having the brown box. Um, yeah, it made me feel like an adult. I probably saw my grandfather eating them, and I thought, oh, this is really cool, uh, <laughs> like a moron. Um, the, That's yeah, good. The, the cherry, cherry one is good. really good. Okay, what is this big fat one? No. That's the denser. That's Raspberry? cherry. No. The one I got could have gotten a different one. That was cherry. You need to try this one. Pretty sure it's raspberry. Yeah, see, I didn't pick that one up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's raspberry. There's a light red, a dark red. And that then, is raspberry. Yeah, and then there's these white. That's not the one I chose. Yeah, you chose another cherry. Mmm. I like it. I like the raspberry. Yeah. Very sweet. Candy. Love the texture. You could just let these sit in your mouth for a while, mm -hmm. too. They're a softer jelly bean and not as sticky. Love the raspberry. Okay, have you done the pink? Uh -huh. The little white colored one. Now, I'm curious about the chocolate ones. All right, this is a chocolate covered strawberry. This is a chocolate covered strawberry one. Oh, okay. Let me get a fat one. So, Mine is too. Chocolate covered strawberry. Now, truth be told, the chocolate was so strong it kind of covered up the flavor of the jelly bean. Oh, there's a cherry or a raspberry. I love the chocolate coating. Mm -hmm. Love it. Very thick. It really, really adds to the enjoyment of the jelly bean. 
I don't taste the jelly. Oh. No, I got raspberry. Mm. It was a chocolate covered raspberry one. I tell you what, if you're a texture person, uh, they're wonderful. Oh, because you get that that creamy milk, the the chocolate, mm -hmm. and then you get this grittiness from the sugar yes, on the inside. Yes, it's gritty and, and it's, they mix really well. It's a very very thick coating of chocolate mm -hmm. on the outside. Very thick. I think these are five out of five. I'm terrific. glad. I'm glad they didn't coat all of them. I know. Because I like being able to just, if I don't want a chocolate one, I can just get a, a cherry one. Yes. I would have liked more of them to be covered in chocolate. I know, because... Um, I wish more were covered in chocolate. However, I'm glad they didn't do all of them in chocolate. So that's how many you get covered in chocolate. Um, it's, <laughs> 200 grams. <laughs> uh, but I, I really do love them. Yeah, love they're, they're them. They're excellent. I think chocolate. that's a good mix. That is better than we, like I told you, we've had the gummy bears dipped in chocolate. Yeah, I don't like those as much. That texture's better oh, because yeah, a jelly bean has like a, cr a crispy crust around the outside. And it mixes all together when mm -hmm. you're eating it. And the gummy's just a... <laughs> Just a, a chewy, chewy, yeah. really chewy well, once you all bite the in, way. You bite into the gummy and the, all the chocolate kind of crumbles away. Yes, Whereas this is this, not like it that. It kind of sticks together and mixes really well. This is so good. I'm so yeah. glad I got those. Okay. Definitely worth trying out. Worried about these. I don't think they'll be that bad though. There's six flavors. Late night topic. We don't have to weigh these because they tell oh, you. Okay. Uh, those were, I was just curious about those. You get uh, six flavors. You get margarita, churro, salsa, guacamole, Beef taco and harappa. So, three normal ones, three weird ones. <laughs> uh, 21 pieces are 110 calories. Okay, just pour some out. Does it smell like a taco? <laughs> no, I don't know if I'd want to smell a taco in a bag. I'm going to smell it. Yeah, smell it. I don't think it, it is. It's not like being boozled or any of those where it smells like skunk in there. They're dog food. That actually doesn't smell bad. No, it smells like a spice. Um, I think I'm missing one, a white one. It smells kind of like cinnamon. Um, could be. It could be a churro. Oh, okay. That makes sense. No, I'm getting them brown. Brown, I'm missing They're pretty. They're very pretty colors. If you had children, you could be evil and you could open a bag of these and sprinkle them in their Easter basket and they'll pop one in the mouth. <laughs> yes, I'm evil. I think that's me. I think of things like that. What about that dark red one? Is that I think just, it's just the, the same, same thing? Okay, that's the salsa one. Okay, let's try the, the light green one, I think, is the margarita. Now, this is light. That's a limey color. There's a light green and a lime colored green. Okay, do you think that you do you think that's the margarita? I think that's the first one. That, okay. Yeah. What's the alternative? Guacamole. I think I was guacamole. Gosh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's guacamole. Tastes like grass. It's pretty bad. I want to try the other green one next. I am too. Going by that picture though, that's lighter than that one. Huh. If that's a margarita, it's awful. I've never had a margarita that tastes like that. Yeah, that tasted like grass. Mm. You like it? It's long. Okay. I'm putting it on the other side. Mm. It's more lime flavor. Thank goodness. It's a good idea to do that. You can wash that funk out of your mouth with the other one. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't eat any more of those light green ones. It's <laughs> mm. <laughs> nasty. Bad. Yeah. And when I say to people, we don't like guacamole, there's a reason. Yeah. But then you get some really, really good guacamole chips and you're like, oh, this is what it's supposed to taste like. Well, how come we never get that? Yeah. We never get the good guacamole. Um, the margarita is delicious. Um, don't you like that, Joe? If that's, a, I'm hoping that's the, the uh, guacamole has lime in it. There's, it's sweet. It is the, sweet. The other one was kind of Yeah, earthy. the guacamole was earthy, grassy. It wasn't sweet. Yeah, that agree. margarita is sweet. Yeah, it's nice. So yeah. Okay, what about the um, the haracha? Which one's that? The white one. The white one. Haracha's a chili, isn't it? Mm. That's churro. You know, it's not, it's not supposed to be. But that's what it tastes like. It has to like. be a cinnamon. It's not. Churro's brown. That's the brown one. 
Mm. We had the white. That's cinnamon. It, it, I don't know what, I think, I thought Hiracha was up. It's 100% cinnamon. Chili. Well, we'll find out. Okay, try that one. The brown one? Uh-huh. It's probably taco meat. Mmm. No, that has like a marshmallow flavor. Mm-hmm. That tastes like churro. It tastes like a marshmallow. Or does kind of have a roasted marshmallow. A little bit. A vanilla. Toasted marshmallow and vanilla. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually really good. Yeah, I like that. But I like that harasha. I do too. Uh, more. Why the white Even ones? more. Uh, yeah. it, which tasted like cinnamon. The churro, I thought that was... It was Maybe that's some kind of dessert. I don't know. I don't know Spanish, so... Um, okay. And, and, you know, we don't look our stuff before Yeah, we, we do don't it. look it up before we do these videos. We, you know what? We're, yeah, we're professional you, YouTubers. Yeah, we're very professional. We're telling you how it tastes. Whether That's we right. like the flavor or not. That's yeah. what we're telling we don't, you. We don't know what it says. I'm not yeah. giving you a lesson on Spanish. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm telling you whether it's good or not. Okay, okay, so I'm assuming you saved the potentially worst two for last. Well, let's do salsa. Is that the red one? Yeah. Wow. That it tastes just like um, green and red peppers is what it tastes like to me. A little garlic in there. It reminds me of that paste picante sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's even got a little spice to it. Mm -hmm. Actually, not bad. Yes, there's a little bit of a kick to it. I, it. It reminds me of picante sauce. It'll throw you off a little bit though if you're a texture person and you're getting this salsa flavor and something squishy jelly beans. Yeah. Kind of like the popcorn throws me off. Right. It's a little weird at first. It is weird, but they did a really good it, job. It actually flavor. tastes really good. Okay, let's, this is beef taco. Yeah. That's so weird. It tastes a little like dog food. Oh, I don't think so. Not as bad as the dog food and the bean boozled, but. I don't think so. I think it tastes like, um, like taco meat. I would not eat that one or the light green ones. It tastes like taco meat. Okay. So the yellow ones and the light green ones, I would throw them all in the garbage. Okay. Did we not get out more of the beef taco? Because those look like the churro ones. What are you talking about? The beef tacos are the yellow ones. Were those the yellow ones? Uh -huh. the tacos okay. Are the yellow you ones. have to try a beef taco. I don't want to. I didn't like it. With a salsa. You have to make it into a taco. That's the game. This is a game, you know. Okay, so. Yellow and, and red. And then I'll do the sweet ones. I'm kidding. I was kidding. <laughs> I said that on purpose. Okay. Honestly, so, what you get is the pepper flavor for the most part. This one. And should I do guacamole with it? Gosh, it was so bad. I don't want to do guacamole at all. Most of the flavor I get from mixing them is. Um, it's all salsa. It's all salsa. The peppers mm -hmm. and uh, peppers and tomato and spices are so strong. This is a neat bag. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it's one of those ones you have to go out of your way for, but if you see it, and you want to try something different, go for it. You know, that's one I think of those. It would kind be a things. fun game with your children. <laughs> I really do. Um, I think it would be fun to hand it to them and not tell them what it is. So they don't know if they're getting something. And say, what, do you, what is this like? Yeah, what does this taste like to you? Yeah, these um, are all taco themed. What are they? Try another one of those white ones, just one more time. Was that, oh, that was a good one. Mm-hmm. That's straight up cinnamon. Yeah, let me get your bum. No good. Mm-hmm. We can search for it real quick. We'll learn something together. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna find out what this is supposed to be. Is it a fruit? No, this is a different, oh. it hasn't come up oh. yet. It's something else you've searched Okay, for. here we go. It is. Oh, it's a drink. Um, it is known, uh, in Spain, it's made with Soaked, ground, and sweetened tiger nuts. In Latin America and other parts of the Americas, the base is jacardo, melon, and sesame seeds, or white rice, along with other spices. In West African countries, such as Nigeria, it's known as kunuai. Uh, different varieties can be served hot or cold and may be used as flavor in other beverages, such as frappe coffee. So it is supposed That's to a be... Drink of some kind. Uh, like a sweet. Well, it tastes like cinnamon. 
It tastes like, yeah, you would think it was the churro. Yeah, so if you ever had... Ah, here we go, here we go. Merriam Webster. I went down, I kept going. <laughs> it says, uh, the meaning of horacha is a uh, cold sweetened beverage made from ground rice or almonds and usually flavoring such as cinnamon or vanilla. There Damn. we go. We didn't know. And it is a cinnamon vanilla flavor. We cinnamon. didn't we didn't know. Yeah, we so know. but that's this guy so why would they put that and churro in the same mix? I don't know. But they do taste different. And the churro does have a little bit more of a vanilla It has a vanilla marshmallow flavor. Yeah. Well those go without saying are my two favorites in the yeah. bag. Oh yeah. Um I'd say and the margarita wasn't bad. The horacha is my favorite and then the churro. And then I'll say the margarita. I like the margarita. Yeah, because it's a lime flavor. Um, I didn't mind the other ones. I mean, it's just weird. Like Kevin said, it's weird having them, those flavors I did not like in a, a jelly bean. At all. The guacamole was the worst one in there yeah. for us, yeah, because it tastes like grass. Well, I know um, which one of the two bags you would buy. Oh. Not even Without question. question. The chocolate covered ones you need sure. to get these. If you have never had a chocolate covered jelly bean, you deserve this. This yeah. is so good. The texture is wonderful. That's one if you see the chocolate covered ones, go ahead and buy it because you won't go wrong. Yeah. The the taco truck, I mean, you it's could. It's a game. It, you, you could buy it or not buy it. You, you're not going to lose out on yeah. a whole lot if you don't. Or you could play tricks on your children and yeah. put them in their, yeah. their Easter basket. That's what I would have done if I still had children. Just so. pick out the three worst ones. Uh -huh. The salsa, the meat, and the guacamole. Just give them those flavors. You'll put them off jelly. You'll, you'll, you'll never put eat them off jelly. They won't beans. trust you to eat jelly beans no, ever again. Never trust you again. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.